Hi everybody, welcome to Living Traditions Homestead. I have something very fun planned for us today, but it starts out in the garden. So let's go pick some veggies. We're going down by the peppers. Well, I'm in one of my favorite rows of the garden, and that is the peppers. Last week I did a video about all about all of our peppers, and there was a lot of interest in our red roasting pepper that we're growing this year. It's called Aj Varsky, and I will put the spelling of that in the description below this video. But today I'm gonna pick a bunch of them because they are completely red and we're gonna take them into the house and do something fun with them. But I want to show you out here in the garden just how gorgeous and huge these are. Let me pick this one because it's ready to go. I've been watching this pepper for months grow and now it's finally big enough to harvest. Look at the size of this, you guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to do something fun with this. I'm gonna see how many others are ready to go into the house as well. Well, I ended up getting seven of these nice big red roasting peppers and I have a few of them still in the house. So let's go in the house and you guys can see what the surprise is. Well, we're back in the house. I have two peppers here from earlier in the week and these seven peppers. I'm really excited today because we are going to be roasting these red peppers and I'm going to teach you how to not only preserve them for about three months but also for up to a year. Roasted red peppers from the grocery store you know that you get in the oil in the jar uh, they're really expensive so to be honest I never buy them. I'm so excited to have this kind of red peppers that are gonna be perfect for roasting this year, the Adjvarsky. So I'm excited to have some of these in the refrigerator. Uh, they'll last about three months in the refrigerator and I'm excited to be able to have roasted red peppers in the freezer. So to get started with these guys, we need to roast them. There are lots of ways that you can roast peppers, but the easiest way for me to do that is in the oven on the broil setting. So I'm gonna get these guys set up to go into the oven. We need a cookie sheet oiled. We need a cutting board. Now you don't have to remove the stem and the seeds from the inside at this point. You can wait until after they have broiled and then essentially steamed, which is what we're gonna do. Uh, but I like to remove them now so that it is a lot less hassle and a lot less messy after they come out from the oven. So I'm actually just going to cut around the stem part on these because that is where all the seeds are. And if you just cut around like that, then you can pop this out and most of the seeds should come out with it. Yep, there they are. And I'm just gonna put that right uh, aside and in a little bit I'll put oil on that cookie sheet and then put them on top of there. So I'm just gonna do that to the rest of these and then we'll put them in the oven. I'm actually gonna save these pepper tops for now because I want to harvest the seeds off there. I 
I've oiled my pan and now I'm just going to put these peppers on there the best way that they fit. I've also preheated the oven to broil. We're just gonna put them straight in the oven just like this. We're gonna leave them there until the tops of these are charred, pretty black, and then we'll take them out and look at them and flip them. Okay, let's see what they look like. I think they're doing really well. Out. I'm gonna use the tongs to flip them to the other side because now that one side is kind of burnt. We need the other side to be burnt. I'm gonna flip those over. Now we're gonna put them back in. When you're roasting the peppers, don't be afraid to let them get pretty burned. That's where a lot of that flavor is going to come from. In the end, we're gonna take off all of that burned skin so you won't taste that bitter char from the skin. Just we want the flavor in the flesh itself. So we are gonna go ahead and let these uh, get nice and black and then we'll take them out and I'll show you the next step. Okay, they're done. So let's take them out of the oven. Look at those. They're nice and charred. Now I'm gonna quickly put them into this pot. And essentially by putting them in this pot and covering it really quickly, the heat and the steam from inside of these is going to steam them further, which will allow the skin to slip off the pepper really easily. Now you can do this in several ways. You could pile all these peppers on top of each other and then put a bowl upside down on them, just right on the cookie sheet. Uh, you could cover it with, you could put them in a bowl and cover it with a plate. You could put it in a bowl and cover it with foil or saran wrap. But this is just what I found quickly that I just have around the kitchen these days because I'm doing so much with canning and cooking because of everything in the, in the garden. So I'm gonna let these steam in here for at least 10 minutes, maybe 20 minutes to make sure they've had enough time for the skin to come off of the pepper part. In the meantime, I need to get out a saucepan and fill it with olive oil. We're going to be covering these in a jar with olive oil, warm olive oil. And so the olive oil and the red pepper can kind of marry and mix and it'll be a wonderful flavor inside of there. So while these are steaming, I'm gonna get that oil on the stove. So I'm using just a classic olive oil, not an extra virgin olive oil. That is too much flavor. You don't want those to be competing with each other. So I'm gonna put a couple cups of olive oil in the saucepan and we're going to heat it up to 200 degrees. Now I want to talk with you about what you can use roasted red peppers for. What on earth could you use them for? There, well there are lots of things you could use it for. The things that I'm planning on using the roasted red peppers for uh, will be on top of sandwiches or burgers. I think that would be fantastic. It would be great on a pizza. And I'm also thinking about making homemade hummus that has roasted red peppers blended into it. It would be fantastic. Now, after we take all of the peppers out of the oil that we'll be storing these in, it will be infused with the wonderful roasted red pepper flavor. Also the flavor of garlic, because we're gonna be putting that in there as well. 
So when you're finished with all of the peppers, don't throw away that oil. Man, it will be so good to dip some crunchy bread inside of there and eat it, or to use it to make a vinaigrette. Wouldn't that taste amazing? So overall, this is gonna be a fantastic project. I hope you guys try it at home. I know you will love it. So I think the peppers are ready. We're gonna get started with this process. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crush one big clove of garlic and we're gonna put it at the bottom of our jar. Now all of these pepper pieces are gonna go in one mason jar. Maybe they'll all fit, hopefully they'll all fit in one jar. And I'm using a wide mouth jar just to make it easy to get in and out when we want to get out the peppers. So we're going to put that at the bottom. Open my pot here and I'm going to just start taking out the peppers one by one. And the skins, if they have steamed long enough, the skins should just peel right off. Oh, look at that. Look at how easy that comes off. I'm just gonna put them in a separate bowl. Now, these are hot. If you wanna wait a little bit longer, you definitely can. If you wanna wear some gloves to help keep some of that heat off of there, that is fine too. I'm just gonna do the best that I can right now. Actually, I'm gonna try using the back of my knife. Oh, that helps. That helps a lot and then I don't burn my hands. So we're gonna get those skins off. And I want these to be in four pieces. So I'm just gonna cut these into four. I think that's just a nice size for on a sandwich and I think they'll fit nicely in the jar. So now that I have the skin off and I've cut them into several pieces, we're just gonna drop them in the jar and however they land, they land. Don't have to worry about it. We're not gonna pack them in there. Um, we're just gonna let them go the way they land. That's the first pepper. And we're just gonna do this to the rest of the peppers. This is the last pepper and it looks like they're gonna fit perfectly in the jar. I picked seven of them out of the garden. I had two of them in the house so nine of these peppers fit almost perfectly in this jar. The next step is to add the oil. Now I do have the oil on the stove and it got up to a little bit over 200 degrees so I turned it off but I think it will be perfect now. So let me go grab that and clean this up and then we'll add the oil to the jar. Okay, the next part is pretty simple. I'm gonna use my canning funnel just to help this out. And I'm just gonna ladle in this olive oil on top of these pepper pieces. And we're just gonna cover the pepper pieces completely with the oil until it's all the way up to the top. Well, it looks like it's up to the top. It didn't even take very much but we need to make sure that there are no air bubbles in there. So you can use a, a chopstick, whatever you have. I'm just gonna use a butter knife. And I'm just going to poke it around in there to make sure all of the air bubbles are out. That will make the oil go down a little bit, so we might have to top it off. But I want that oil to go all the way down to the bottom to where that garlic is so that the flavor of that garlic will infuse within the oil and within those pepper pieces. Okay, I'm just gonna top that off just a tad. Now that this is completely filled, I'm just gonna cover it with a lid and a ring. I'm gonna leave this out on the counter until it is room temperature. Right now, it's pretty hot. 
We're gonna leave this here until it's room temperature and then we'll put it in the refrigerator. Just like this in the refrigerator, this will last for about three months. But if you want for this to be good for a year, you can empty this into a freezer bag and it will keep up to a year. You can put all of it in at once or you can divide this into smaller bags and as you need it throughout the year, just take out a little bit at a time. So in the refrigerator, three months, but in the freezer, up to a year. So what do you think, you guys? You think you're gonna try this someday? You can do this process with really any pepper, but red peppers are so, so tasty. Do you have any ideas for me on what other things I can use these roasted red peppers with? Or other ideas for what I can use the oil after it has infused with these amazing peppers? Make sure you let me know in the comment section below. You guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today, taking some of our garden fresh veggies and learning how to preserve them to use throughout the year. If you're enjoying these videos, make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you share with people who are like-minded. And until next time, thank you so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless.